Oh my. How do you call him? Superboy, Clark Kent, Tom or Greek God. Born on April 26, 1977, in Putnam Valley, New York, Tom Welling started out as a construction worker and model before stepping into the world of acting. In fact, his handsome face graced the covers of popular magazines like Vogue and Abercrombie and Fitch catalogs. Little did he know that his rugged charm would soon conquer the screens. His screen debut was in the 2001 drama series Judging Amy, which focused on three generations of women living together in Hartford, Connecticut. Tom played the seductive Rob Meltzer in six episodes of season two. Do you like it? Yeah. It was exciting. I like the movie better. What have you read lately? So, after that, Tom started getting all cozy in his Superboy shoes. Then, in 2001, he burst onto the scene as our favorite Clark Kent. Well, that depends. Do you like him? He totally nailed the vibe of young Clark's journey to becoming the Man of Steel. Welling's performance was like, super on point, showing us all the inner drama and crazy challenges of growing up with those epic superpowers. I mean, maybe he wasn't everyone's top choice for Superman, but when it comes to playing the down-to-earth, relatable Clark Kent, he totally aced it. During the seasons of Smallville, Tom also appeared in the comedy franchise Cheaper by the Dozen as one of the 12 kids of the character played by the legendary Steve Martin. Anything else you want to talk about? Did I mention I don't like you very much? Yeah, you mentioned that, yeah. Then I'm good. Okay, me too. Another role was on the horror mystery film The Fog, in 2005. The film is about a thick mist full of vengeful spirits haunts a prosperous island town off the coast of Oregon, as its inhabitants try to learn their town's dark secret in order to stop it. It wasn't the best film in the world, but it was nice to see Tom in a different kind of role. Sean? Sean? So, in 2013, Tom took the stage in the drama film Parkland, a film that it's all about the crazy stuff that went down at Dallas Parkland Memorial Hospital when President John F. Kennedy got whacked. Oh, I have to say that I was so used to see Tom in Smallville that I was always waiting to see him fly and use his X-ray vision in this show. With widows every day. What is he doing? The remains will stay here. I don't think so. The remains of what did you call it, your body? The hell with you and hell with your law. Okay, nurses. Move it out! Now in the sports world, in 2014 Tom played Brian Drew, one of the key players for the Cleveland Browns on the drama film Draft Day. The film revolves around the Cleveland Browns general manager, Sonny Weaver Jr., played by Kevin Costner, as he navigates the high-stakes world of professional football's player draft. Oh boy, only the Cleveland Browns would think of drafting Bo Callahan when they have Superman as their quarterback, right? I'm in great shape, I feel 10 years younger. I'm telling you, man, I swear to you, the best thing for this team this season is me. And what about a doctor version of him in the drama The Choice, from 2016? A long time since she's breathed on her own. Her body's tired. She's tired. After Smallville, Tom had a recurring role in the popular series Lucifer as Marcus Pierce, a high-ranking police lieutenant. That has been one of my favorite roles of Tom's so far. Ah! Right, Brian and Anya, this is Mark. Hi! <laughs> in 2020, he starred in the action series Professionals, alongside Brendan Fraser. The show is based on the 2012 film Soldiers of Fortune, and is about a group of former Special Forces soldiers who now work as mercenaries, and Tom Welling plays Vincent Corbo, a skilled member of the elite team of professionals. His most recent role was on the spin-off of the popular Supernatural, called The Winchesters, as Samuel Campbell. Hey, kiddo. 
Well, that's it. This was a brief overview of the evolution of our beloved Tom Welling, one of the most cherished names among Superman fans. Now, if you want to learn a bit more about the rest of the Smallville cast, check out these other videos here. You're going to love them. Bye-bye.